Greg Steer. I'm Zane Black. I'm Hannah. And I met Hannah yesterday. I was doing a radio show for Carl and June, the morning show for Moody Radio. Yeah. She's the engineer. I found out a couple things. She's she was impacted by Dare to Share while she was a teenager, but also she's kind of the reason I got on the show. Right? <laughs> yeah, my host was like, "So who is this Greg guy?" And I was like, "No, you really, you really need to meet him, Carl." Carl. So that's a dangerous move. That like vouching for Greg. Vouching. I mean, <laughs> I know I put my neck out there you and you delivered. So <laughs> it's <a> risky. <laughs> it was risky. Yeah. But I knew you from um, high school youth group. So I was born and raised, you know, in a Christian home and. Uh, you know, we went to youth group and your videos just kind of mm. gave me, I feel like the launching point on how to have purpose in high school. Yeah. So I would, um, I went to public high school. I didn't know many other Christians mm. and I would go to youth group and be able to be encouraged and have like some good like mm. tools that were simple, straightforward. I can't remember all of them right now, yeah. but all I know is that those videos really did help me and were great resources. So the video is probably Gospel Journey, Gospel Journey Maui. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where Zane and I were able to kind of take yeah. all these different belief systems. <laughs> well, you know, what's really fun about that is I think a lot of students realize, hey, I don't have to preach to my friends. I can just have a conversation because that's really what And be real, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. you know, I still have, I, I had a friend of mine who I didn't even was that close to, but she became a Christian later in college and came back to me and mm. said, hey, you're the only Christian that I know. Mm. and I need to talk to you and we had coffee and I, she is off doing her thing with mm. crew that's mm. cool and now for you it didn't it didn't just stay like during those high school years it's oh. continued now and affected yeah. your ministry now I think it really launched me on to going to Moody mm. uh, Bible Institute and that's where I went and got my degree it's Bible and counseling because I really loved talking with people I didn't know that counseling might not have been the direction that I would go towards, mm. but I love having conversations with people and I think that was another thing that you guys taught us, is having real conversations with real people. Yeah. And uh, so it was a launching point for me and then somehow I found myself in radio. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in radio, but you also work with Young Life. I do. In the city um, yeah. of Chicago, reaching out to young people. Mm -hmm. So when I went to Moody, I got involved with Young Life. Actually, I was involved with Young Life in high school as well, and that was something my parents helped me start mm -hmm. in high school. So in, you started Young Life group in your In high my high school, wow. as a high school student. And so I've been back and forth living with my parents and living here in Chicago. So I've had both experiences working in high schools here in the inner city of Chicago, Wells, Walter Payton, mm -hmm. um, and then also going back to the, the suburbs and working in the school mm -hmm. that I was able to start that ministry in and it grew to about 500 kids oh now goodness. it's huge wow. um, in the suburbs of Chicago uh, in that one school so it's yeah, cool I, what I love about this is the potential of a one teenager yeah. who's been fully gospelized who mm -hmm. kind of knows their purpose yeah. and you're living it out it wasn't just in high school you're living it out now and I know you do like you have a podcast and you do some you know a blog and and you're really trying to enter that area and I said well why are you doing all that Yesterday you gave me a one word answer. The gospel. the gospel. I just want to tell people about the Jesus. Gospel. That's it. That's, uh, and so my cool. blog and everything that I'm doing doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily like, oh, okay, we're going to talk about Bible verses all the time. Yeah. It's literally it's to make conversations and connections with people. To get them to, the, yeah. Yeah, to right. get them to know Jesus Christ. There's so many people who haven't heard Jesus yeah. in, in schools, especially public school system. Um, and there's so many people in industries like fashion or yeah. industries like yeah. media and so that's kind of my passion and I'm not afraid of going towards that yeah. because I have the tools yeah. you know I'm not afraid to be the only Christian in a public school system awesome. because I have the tools I know Jesus Christ and mm -hmm. I know that he has saved me and I don't I, nothing that I've done absolutely nothing it's all Jesus Christ Amen. and that's, yeah. I love that. <laughs> if if you could say like one thing to teenagers who are you know it, rewind to where you were when you first got involved with Dare to Share, what would you say to those teenagers? Oh man, I get so emotional about this. Jesus is the only only reason for living, and it's going to give you so much power and passion and direction if you surrender your life, get rid of distractions, 
and just decide to tell other people about Jesus' love. And then it pours through you and it goes out into whoever you're with, whoever you connect with, whoever's in your friend group, whatever club you're in, it's all worth it. It's all fun because you get to share Jesus' love with those people. Mm, it just gives so you good. so much more purpose. So good. We, we stand down. We're preachers for a living. We stand down. <laughs> that was awesome. You know, um, D.L. Moody, we're at Moody Bible Institute, yeah. and I heard a quote once. He said, the world is yet to see what God can do through one person wholly consecrated to him. But it feels to me, and I'm sure Zane as well, that you're one of those people that are wholly consecrated to God to advance the gospel of Christ. And so uh, we're going to be praying for you. Thank wow. you so much for sharing. Thank you, with guys. Us. And God's got some great stuff stored for you and for you yeah. if you're a teenager. Get gospelized, get that purpose of your youth leader, mobilize your teenagers because that's exactly what happened with Hannah and her youth leader so many years ago and God is doing, has done so much and is doing so much. So let's pray for Hannah and let's keep advancing the gospel.